start with, I'm going to just point this out, the CFG, which is just prompt control. So the higher the number, the more the AI will try to stay true to the prompt. The lower the number, the more creative it would be. Uh, FPS um, is short for frames per second. So uh, right now it's at 10 frames per second. Uh, normal frames per second for videos um, is like 24 on the low end, 24 frames per second on the high end, um, 29 or 30. And then when you go to like 60 or 120, that's you're getting the territory where people typically shoot those frames do to do slow motion. Essentially, this is just how many, so th this is frames per second, this is how many frames in the entire video. We got it set at 100 for the, the bare minimum, but uh, I have the presettings to max out at 500. Uh, if you go any further than 500, usually I find that I have some technical issues. So the higher the steps, the higher the quality of the video, the output video should be. Uh, we're just going to do 10 uh, prompt where you would dictate what's going to happen. Uh, you could just do one simple prompt, but then you wouldn't have, I feel like you wouldn't have as much creativity when you dictate what happens in the frames like this. It, it gives you a little more control on the scene. Um, I just copy and pasted this from my old project. Uh, we only have 100 frames, so it wouldn't even really get through all these prompts. But uh, as I suggested up here, the top is the positive prompt and the bottom is negative. So anything you don't want, you put down here. Anything you do want, you put up here. So here I got this from another workflow. I thought it was very nifty. So this, as shows right here, uh, controls the width and height of the output image. And then uh, you got the animate diffusion loader, which um, kind of controls the transitional effects or the desired motion of it. Um, I'm not going to explain this much, but this is pretty much exactly where it outputs. Um, the CRF does the same basic thing as the CFG. When I googled it, it literally gave the same description. Um, but just using the green prompt, you get this video right here. So this is uh, the checkpoint model that you'd be loading and the VE. Um, you could essentially probably get rid of this and load the VE from this also. Um, it's all going in here so that it can like wirelessly go on to wherever it needs to go. But um, the big crucial part about this whole thing is you can deactivate an area just by you know pressing no or yes. This is just a basic Laura loader. Um, so any normal Laura you can find on Civet AI basically. Um, but this is the more unique Laura's, the ones that have to do more specifically with motion desired effects. For example, um, you got some zooming in. So you could kind of say you wanted to zoom in or you could do something like um, walking. Make sure that um, it tries to perform a walking motion. And as you can tell, it is now zooming in, unlike the original output. And it's focusing on her like walking instead of a more still motion like she was showing. And keep both of them on. It will, after this is done, automatically go over here and then using whatever prompts positive prompt and negative prompt you put in along with its upscale latent by scale it by that level and that information to um, hopefully give you a, a better quality version now these three simply you load whatever video you want to do the desired effect with so there's the load video for that one, the load video for that one, and the load video for this one. This one, using a preprocessor, will allow you to create um, whichever type of preprocessor control net video you would like 
to help control a further video. So you load it, pick it, pick what resolution you want it, and then you queue it and it export it. This one, BG removal, simply stands for background removal. So same thing, you load it, queue it, and then it would remove the background. And then this one, this uh, last one here, simply adds frames into your video, allowing it to look much more smoother and polished. And that is my workflow. Hopefully this was helpful and you enjoy the workflow I made. Thank you for watching. Until next time, see you on the flip side.